Ethics refers to the code of moral principles and values that governs the behavior of a person or a group or an organization with respect to what is right and what is wrong. A minimum wage is the lowest hourly, daily or monthly remuneration employers legally have to pay to workers. The main purpose of the legislation is to ensure employers who usually have higher bargaining power in the labor market do not exploit their workers and that workers earn a fair living wage. Being considered it as legal for any organization to follow, non-adherence to this will cause it in an unethical issue. Paying low wages to an employee is unethical. If the minimum wage is so low that 40 hours per week is in, insufficient to live at, even at a poverty level, then the burden is on the government to raise the minimum. Yes, it is unethical. Wages are set in the market, which is determined by ethically significant action. For example, if a slavery is legal, then workers have to be competent with a slave labor, which drives down their wages. Slavery is unethical, so the unethical political choice to make it legal reduces wages. Companies seeking to diversify its operation ought to consider the purpose of internationalization and how this will achieve the said internationalization. The existence of many stakeholders in the business environment makes it important for managers to come up with good ethical judgment. This can only be achieved by being clear about their core values and code of conduct. The multinationals have to consider the different ethical standards in different countries and that the ethical standards of home country are likely different from the developing countries. This can be attributed to different levels of economic development. Multinationals also consider standards in the undeveloped countries. A country wishing to encourage foreign investments will set wage ca caps to be too low as an alternative way results into loss of foreign investment and the benefit tied to it. McDonald's is a real life example where it gave a low wage to its employees. Despite being its global success, it remains the target of a victorical public black backlash owing to what many perceives as bad business ethics in its relationship with employees and other stakeholders. This corporation pays minimum wages to their employees, who essentially do assembly line factory type work. If the work done by burger manufacturers and drive through cashiers work reclassified as factory work, then that would add about 3.5 million manufacturing jobs to the US economy at a time when such jobs are rapidly being exported overseas. From a statistical point of view, it would make the US seem like an industrial powerhouse once again. Instead of an aging su su power supply threatened by low cost competitors, McDonald's worldwide, most of the workers get paid minimum wages in spite of the fact that the company is now worth more than billion dollars. McDonald's, despite its global success, it has involved in bad business ethics, which is named after a legislation known as McDonald's legislation in a popular parlance. In 1972, Ray Kroc, the company's founder, made a rare donation of dollar to Nixon's re-election campaign and in return got a favorable legislation that allowed companies such as McDonald's to pay a teenage employees 20% less than the federal minimum wages. Most observers consider this a typical case of corporate influence on lawmakers to enact legislation that serves their selfish ends and harm society. Mostly, everyone will enjoy McDonald's every once in a while even if you aren't a fan of a fast food. While the food may be cheap, it may come at more of a cost to the environment and the global economy than one might think. McDonald's has a negative impact on the environment in more ways than one. Aside from the po pollution from factories where the food is produced, the unusable waste from the nearby, all the foods they sell, and the massive amount of power and the energy that are required to keep all the branches up and running 
This corporation is destroying natural rainforests. McDonald's likes to purchase their meats from privatized farms, which is not a problem in and of for itself. The conflict arises when these privatized farmlands are built on the land where a lush rainforest once resided. So not only is McDonald's polluting our air, but also it's destroying a large part of what would help to clean it out. The trees that are lever do do more than what just clean the air though. They are also homes to thousands of animals that are likely killed or made homeless as the trees are torn down. This is not exactly a healthy step in making our world a better place. The people at McDonald's treat their empl employees no better than they treat their environment. McDonald's staffs are frequently underpaid for the amount of time that they work, which is often extends into the illegal amount of labor hours, gets little to no benefits along with this gross underpayment and are oftentimes forced to work in unhealthy and unsanitary conditions. The farmers from where which they get their food are also generally underpaid for the amount of produce and meat which they sell to the corporation, particularly considering the cost that many of these farms have regarding the environment and health of the farm workers. If the political economy were functioning as it is supposed to, with Congress imposing regional reasonable boundaries on businesses, markets and the economy, workers won't have to get their bosses to understand what it's like to live on a $9 an hour because Congress would make sure that no one had to. McDonald's workers are likely asking for $15 an hour. That sounds a little lot compared to that of the current minimum wages of $7.25 an hour compared to the democratic proposal to raise the minimum to $10.10. .10. But it's actually closer to where the minimum wages would be today if we had kept pace over the years with growth in a labor productivity. The critical analysis for this would be Though the company is a million dollar company or a small scale company, it should always consider the employees, the human factors working in the company or the factory. Or else you fall in an unethical issue.